All right, our next example we're going to look, like, uh, look at looks like this. So we have log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of x minus 7 is equal to 3. Now, obviously, you should be able to tell that this is a little bit different. And the reason this is different is because now we have two logarithms. Well, we can't exponentiate right now because you cannot do this. I can't exponentiate each term. It doesn't work that way. It's kind of like taking the square root. If you take the square root, you have to take the square root of both sides. Or if you square both sides of your equation, you can't just square each individual part. You have to square both sides. So kind of keep that in mind. So now, like, what do I do? Well, we're going to use one of those properties of logarithms. And what we're going to do is we're going to condense our logarithms. So right now we've got two logarithms. I just want one. So I'm going to go ahead and put these two logarithms together. Well, this has a positive coefficient, and this has a positive coefficient. So both of these things will be located in our numerator when we combine them. I didn't have to worry about any coefficients, or else I could use the power rule to make the coefficients exponents. So when I do that, it'll look something like this. And this helps us tremendously because now we only have one logarithm. So now what I'll do, now I can exponentiate. So this will cancel. And when I actually multiply this out, it'll give me x squared minus 7x is equal to 2 to the third power. Well, 2 to the third power is actually 8. Okay, now we're going to reevaluate what we have. So we got rid of some stuff that we didn't like, which was the logarithms. But now, as you can see, we have a quadratic. So the way we can solve a quadratic equation is we can set it equal to 0 and solve. And of course, we can try to factor. If that doesn't work, we can definitely use the quadratic formula completing the square. But I believe this one will factor. So x minus 8 and x plus 1. When you set both those equal to 0 and solve, you get x is equal to 8 and x is equal to negative 1. Now don't be fooled. We've done all this work. Looks great. We got answers. We've got to check our answer. Okay, so we've got to go back and plug it in and make sure that it works. So if I take this 8 and I plug it in right here, I can take the log base 8 of 2. I mean, the log base 2 of 8. In fact, I know that's 3. Over here, when I plug in 8, it says 8 minus 7 is 1. Log base 2 of 1 is 0. So 3 plus 0 gives me 3. So not only does it check, but it also um, it shows that I can take the base of both of those. I can take the logarithm of both of those. However, when I plug in this negative 1, log base 2 of negative 1, I can't do that. Okay, I can't take the log of a negative number. So that's an extraneous solution for us. So even though we got two solutions, only one works when you plug it back in. So make sure you check that whenever you're working with logarithms.